Okay, everybody, here we are back again at the One Mini Ranch in Orland, California, with another great session with Buckaroo John Brand of Buckaroo Leather. John stops by and visits us, as you, as you see in the past uh, videos, uh, to always show us some of the innovations from Buckaroo Leather and how to use quality horse tack to get more enjoyment out of the relationship between you and the horse. John, what are we going to talk about today? Thank you, Chuck. Today we're going to talk about uh, how to put on your billets and latigos on your saddle. Okay, and John, what's so a billet and a latigo? The billet is on the off side of your saddle, which would be the side you would attach your cinch. Uh, if you're on your horse, it'd be the right side, and that's the side that the, uh, stays attached when you get off and on, or when you take your saddle off and on. One of the innovations that Buckaroo has done for quite a few years now on their off billet is they have a wear leather. This wear leather here can be taken off or left on. Preferably you'd love to leave it on because it keeps the ring of your saddle from digging into the off billet. All you need to do now and then if you'd like is replace your wear leather when it gets worn and you can continue to save and use your off billet for many more years. Okay, so you're starting off with that great Herman Oak leather for the billet, which is, uh, where does that piece of the leather come from, John, on the steer hide? It all comes from the back. The back, and that's, uh, you told us before, that, what's the advantage of the back strap? It has the most dense part of the leather around, along the back, and uh, it has the best quality and Basically the denseness of the leather. The density, okay. Right. Density. Now, in other words, and since the billet is a very, I mean, it's extremely important for the safety of the horse and rider when you're riding saddled to make sure that your billets are in good shape. And Buckaroo Leather has added the, uh, what did you call that again? I mean, that's wear leather. A, the wear leather. So I can buy a high quality billet and then replace my wear leathers which obviously are less money than a billet, right? Yes. Whereas with some of the other manufacturers, I have to uh, replace the whole billet. Is that correct? That's correct. All right, That's so correct. Buckaroo Leather, again, in, is right in front of the industry here with wear leathers. Fantastic concept, John. I'm showing you here real quick how to attach, punch it through the first hole and through the second hole. Okay, you've, you, you've got the cinch now. Yep, and right there's how it attaches on the offside. You have your adjustment here and here, okay. depending on where you want it. That is uh, what's considered the off billet. Then I want to show you how to attach the half breed Latigo offside billet. Okay. Now this is different, and, and for what reason? This what? Is, is an older style uh, billet. Okay. It's the old timers seem to use this a little bit more, but a lot of the ropers and whatnot are realizing how uh, well it is. It doesn't have any stretch to it at all because okay. it's doubled over. I see. The first thing you do is you put it through your cinch. Okay. Then you take this part and put it through through your D ring. D ring. Okay. Then you continue this through here. Uh huh. Back through your cinch. Find your adjustment spot. Line up your spot. holes and see here. Then you take the tongue, punch it through the hole here, through the hole there, and there you have the half breed off billet. Okay, we've actually, I can see where the more strength comes from, John, because we, we four ply of that great back strap from the Herman Oak steer hide leather. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, cost-wise, uh, obviously this takes a little more effort, or uh, you know, just a few more minutes to uh, to apply it. Uh, uh, what's the relative economy of, of of the two different billet styles, John? Uh, they're they're they both are about the same price, right around uh, twenty nine, twenty eight, twenty nine dollars. Okay. For your okay. off billet. Now I see a quick advantage just for our, our our friendly horsemen around the world. The off billet that you showed us first with the wear leathers. I can just replace wear leathers probably, whereas the other one, like you say, the ropers use, and there's a lot of work and sweat, and uh, so th there's there's an advantage to both 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 uh, styles. That's true. That's okay. True. Now, a mount or uh, to attach your leather latigo. Oh, we're on the near side of the saddle. Now we're on the near side of the saddle, and as you see, Buckaroo offers quite a few different colors, so you can match your outfits, okay. match your saddle, whatever you prefer to do. What I wanted to show you today 
was just real quick how to uh, attach the leather latigo. Let's see, let me pick one here that, uh, how about this black one? Okay. I'll show you a black one here real quick. What you'll do here is you pull out the string. Now say that again, you pulled out the string. This is the tie string. Oh, okay, you, comes, yes, all right. It okay. comes with a tie string. Right. You'll want to take and push it through the bottom set of holes, like so. Actually, I'm sorry, I'd... pause that a second, Chuck. No, no, all right. It's okay, John, we can make mistakes. We'll put it through this hole, right all here. All right, there you go. There's what you want to do first. Right here. Okay, so you came on the back side, put it through the two bottom holes. Right. You'll want this to be facing the underside of your latigo. Okay, that's... Facing the... towards you. Right, the underside, okay. Then you put this through your two holes in the back. Right. Like so. Cinch it down a little bit. Then you'll take these two here and run them through both holes. As One at a time, though, because you can't put two at the same time. It's, yeah. it's always easier to do it. And, and keep your tie strap flat, ladies and gentlemen. Don't let it twist. It's always important to keep your tie strap nice and flat. And this is our near side cinch latigo that John Buckaroo John Brand is showing us how to attach. And of course, this just came out of the trailer, so... Let me grab a little awl I have here. Okay. You might need to use a little tool just to open up the hole so you can pull it through. Well, that, sec that second strap has always been a problem for me, and I'm sure for everybody else. So having a little screwdriver and all is always helpful. And this is something you don't have to do every day, because once this is done, it's going to be there for quite a while, right, John? Yes, exactly. We got yeah. a cantankerous piece of leather today, huh? And it takes a minute to, to get it lined. Well, you know, I think this is great because one of the things that all horsemen have to always maintain is patience. Just dealing with a horse takes a lot of patience, and sometimes working with leather, uh, it takes a little bit of time and energy, but, you know, uh, we don't have to spend all of our life in a microwave society, do we, John? That's for sure. Have yourself a cup of coffee or... Yeah cold iced tea and then ask you what you want to do here once you've pulled okay you've got those through, through right see here you got a the right, v in the back. the back you've pulled them through open that up and that take, take, take your, your all, all open that back up open this up here because you're going to run these down through here like so keep them nice and flat and straight no there. twist and then you have it all put through you want to take go in the back pull them down tighten them down a little bit pull the front one like so mm -hmm. Work them around until they're nice and flat. And then as you use it, it'll flatten down here. Sure. Then. Now the big key here is we want to make sure that we always have the inside, the inside of the leather facing us. The unfinished side, right? Exactly right. Okay. And then when you cinch up your horse, put it through the, the saddle. The cinch ring. The cinch ring, excuse me. You know, and you'll take two or three of your wraps, whatever it takes to get it right, like so. And then you'll put your, you know, put your buckle through the proper place on your, on your, as you know, as you can see here, buckaroo leather puts lots of holes. Lots of holes. So you have plenty of adjustment. John, that brings up a point now. You are using the holes, and what about the fact that a lot of people still like to do the tie? Is there any uh, great difference between using the, the buckles and the holes or, or no, doing the old tie? It's just it's just personal preference. Okay. Um, if you like to use the tie, you don't have to buckle it. Some people prefer not to. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is Come run around. through the top. Run it around, back up through your ring, back down through. That's kind of the way we always did it. <laughs> but I noticed that, uh, and, and, it, and it is amazing how many holes you have there, and we sure appreciate Buckaroo Leather thinking about the There's horseman. There's your tie. All right. Now, some people feel that's a bit more bulky. That's why they, be. yeah. It can be until it gets broken a little right. bit. Right, right. And, of course, we're using a child saddle in, 
and showing full-size uh, gear here. So, Well, John, we sure appreciate that. Anything else to talk to us about the billets? And uh, uh, I think that's all today, all John. Right. All I can all think right. of, I sure appreciate your time. All right, John and Brand. Thanks for bearing with me on uh, getting that lad to go tie through hey, the hole. Hey, John, we did a great job. Again, ladies and gentlemen, Buckaroo John Brand from Buckaroo.